Absolutely. I spoke with Chattanooga airport officials who say so far flights out of Chattanooga haven't seen any delays, but one local travel agent tells us people planning to go out of town this Labor Day weekend may want to be watching their itineraries very carefully. It's the start of Labor Day weekend. Labor Day, one of the big, busiest travel weekends of the year, of course, and um, with the predicted hurricane um, landing in Florida over the weekend, um, lots of travel plans changing, lots of cruises, itineraries changing, lots of things to be aware of. And while travel agent Amber Dixon says many are gearing up for vacations, they should also be preparing for the unexpected during holiday travel if they're headed to the Sunshine State. With the predicted hurricane um, landing in Florida over the weekend, um, lots of travel plans changing, lots of cruises, itineraries changing, lots of things to be aware of. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has already declared a state of emergency ahead of Hurricane Dorian, which is expected to make landfall on Tuesday. Dixon says for her clients with trips planned during hurricane season, she's keeping an eye on their itineraries. Yes, we just watch the weather closely. We also watch what, what are the cruise lines saying? What are they um, changing their itineraries to? What are they predicting for themselves? But if you aren't using an agent, she recommends checking in with your airline to see what plans may be in place for cancellations and delays. If you have a Delta flight, check with Delta American. Um, all the major airlines have sent out releases saying what their plans are, um, what they're doing to make different arrangements. Dixon, the owner of Limitless Destinations Travel Agency, is also advising people to travel smart by packing storm kit essentials. Make sure you have some water and some necessities in your room in case of a power outage or in case you know you can't access things. I know people who are living in Florida have prepared themselves. The weekend is just beginning, but Dixon says for travelers headed to Florida, ending it safely will also take preparation. Well, one other step that Dixon highly recommends people taking is purchasing flight or trip insurance. So in the event that it's canceled, you can get a refund of your money. Well, not everyone is headed to Florida. Many residents are living near the coast or trying to escape the storm. That means the interstates will be very busy over the next couple of hours. Channel 3's Claudia Coco is live from the I-75 Welcome Center right now with what traffic is looking like so far. Claudia? Well, Joy, not only is it Labor Day weekend, that hurricane headed towards the coast of Florida is driving Floridians north. So right now traffic is pretty bad here at the split and it's still pretty much at a crawl. Now, many highways have already been congested throughout the day. According to that TDOT Smart Way map that we've been keeping an eye on, around 1 this afternoon, Interstate 75 northbound in Hamilton County saw very high traffic volumes at the Georgia, Tennessee state line. Now again, it's still pretty much at a crawl here or here at the split. Now you can probably pretty much expect traffic to be affected throughout the next couple of days. So if you're local here in Chattanooga, I would try to avoid the highway as people are trying to get north and get away from that storm. Also as Labor Day is, you know, it is Labor Day weekend. Make sure you're just being mindful of when you're traveling and how you're traveling. Live at the Welcome Center, Claudia Coco, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Claudia.